and welcome back to my channel. As you can see today, we are not in the usual wet confines of our apartment. Uh, this week we are in the Beverly Hills Hotel in Los Angeles, running a half marathon in Disneyland this weekend. We're on a bit of a work slash fun trip and uh, we have a video to film. Unfortunately, no mic. Lighting is questionable, but I figured it looked cozy. It's been a while since I did one of these sit down videos, by a while I mean three weeks, and you guys seem to like my what's in my bag the best, so I figured we'd go back to this format. We did some lookbooks, we did uh, some vlogs, and you guys seem to want to see stuff. This is going to be my first haul video, per your request. I'm a little nervous about doing a haul video for many, many reasons. Believe it or not, I'm not into uh, boasting about all the wonderful things life has brought me. Ergo, the title of my blog, Comes Ask Bad, which means guilty conscience. So none of this is at all meant to brag. It's kind of just like fun fashion finds that I wanted to share with you guys. But this is my first haul video. How do you do this? Top to bottom, or like by category? Hats, and there's glasses. A lot of fun vintage finds, which is what we did yesterday. I went vintage shopping. I guess I'll get started. Actually, no, first things first. This is new. This is my Beverly Hills hotel pajama set. I wore it to breakfast the other day. I think I will wear this for the rest of my life. It is adorable and obsessed with it. There's something about a good print and some pink piping. Being in Beverly Hills at the Beverly Hills, Hotel, Beverly Hills Hotel, in my Beverly Hills room, in my Beverly Hills pajama, really pleases my OCD and also makes me feel very glamorous and fancy. So thanks Beverly Hills Hotel. So first things first is a hat. It is not vintage. I bought it at the Nasty Gal store here in LA and it is a Brixton hat. Brixton is my favorite hat company. I'm not sure exactly how to is this uh, what's the name for these it's like not a paper boy cap peter calls it a london man hat it's a, yeah it's my i'm your uber driver i'm obsessed with it i think it's adorable i like uh white clothing and accessories especially shoes and hats i tend to wear a lot of white so it goes with a lot i wore this last night actually insert picture here and i thought it was really fun and adorable and playful. It's hard not to make it look costumey, so I'm gonna have to keep that in mind when I wear it. It's white suede with some white leather here, and then there's a white leather braid. There's a little Brixton button. Next thing is <laughs> this hat. The newest fashion craze, everyone, the dad hat. I like them a lot because wearing hats makes me feel safe. This one is Balenciaga. <sighs> Yeah, it'll look great with jeans and a shirt, but I, I like wearing it a little more unexpectedly like today. I wore it with a long Kenzo Times H&M dress, Times, Times H&M, Kenzo X H&M, <laughs> nah, a leather like cargo vest, or maybe like I was a fisherman, but the colors, the colors make it easy to wear with kind of everything, and a dad hat is real useful these days, so thank you dad hat. Ta-da! Nothing like a good souvenir, friends. Another dad hat, it's beige, it says L.A. and teeny tiny. I'll remember why I am. It is from Bascom Projects. I bought it in a store in CityWalk. We went to Universal Studios two days ago. Honestly, good dad hat is good. Don't quote me on that. That's not a very eloquent quote. Oh. <laughs> And finally, this guy is vintage. We hit up a lot of vintage t-shirt stores, which also happen to have some hats. This guy is a snapback. Ugh, and this is the stuff I live for. It's pebbles, friends. It says pebbles in the back in pretty, <laughs> pretty obnoxious letters. And then you got little pebbles in the front. It's a nice blue color, which I tend to like. Oh, she's cute. Something about wearing a bone in your hair, you know? It is very old. It is from American Needle. It's licensed from Hanna-Barbera in 1993. I love finding things like this. I'm obsessed with Disney, if you didn't know. I'm obsessed with a lot of things that are kind of associated to childhood, like cartoons and yeah, mostly cartoons. And this is no different. I love inserting it in things I love, like fashion and everyday life. I still watch Flintstones if it's on, though we don't really get Cartoon Network in Canada anymore. So yeah, this will look great with everything, let's be honest. Peter, yesterday I was wearing it, I was wearing a denim on denim outfit and then I put this on. It was like an 80s denim coat with like 80s Levi's acid wash jeans and I put this on and Peter's like, you look like you're from a different decade. And I'm like, it's what I was going for. No, don't, don't go for that. You'll look like you're wearing a costume. But yeah, Pebbles hat. Who doesn't love Pebbles? I wanted Bam Bam, shh, don't tell her. But they didn't have it, so. Pebbles! All right, that was hats. That was three dad hats and one London man hat, was it? So let's move on to eyewear, or as I like to call them, sunnies, because eyewear sounds pretentious. Wait a second, I forgot to introduce my kids to you. They're new, they're part of my haul. These are my children, you got Bart and Lisa, they were one, well, Lisa was one for me by my lovely husband, and I beat my husband for Bart, not literally. I figured why not let them join us. Uh, the Simpsons is one of my favorite shows. Bart 
Bart, Bart and I go way back. He was my crush when I was younger, still my crush now. Yeah, I went to Universal Studios, I actually kind of, I don't want to say came on to the, the dress mascot, but I mean, we got along. So yeah, Bart and Lisa, everyone, welcome back. Sunglasses, everyone. Ray-Bans. I used to never wear Ray-Bans because my face is unusually large. <laughs> Camera adds 10 pounds just in my face. Ray-Ban has some great 90s inspired stuff. I love them because glasses these days have gotten a little too expensive for my taste. Even these guys, but these guys still stay in the reasonable expensive range. And they're really playful and fun and I'm not scared to buy colors in them because I know that I actually wear them because they have a cool kind of effortless sense about them. They look like you pulled them out of your mom's closet in the 90s if you know that's her age. First pair are these reflective lenses in pink with a gold frame and they're oval. I'm not sure what they're called. Oval pink glasses from Ray-Ban. But I love them because when I wear them, I feel like Britney Spears at TRL in 2001. Am I right though? I've been eyeing these for so long. Peter kept making fun of me every time I put them on in a store, so I never bought them. The other day I went down to the gift store in the hotel and he wasn't there. So he was in there to tell me I looked horrible, so there we go. I wore them twice in the three days we've been here, so. I wear a lot of pink and a lot of blue, turns out, especially baby pastel colors. Uh, be more careful with it. I dropped them today at Lululemon. Shh. They're very resilient, so I'm excited to wear them some more and drop them some more in the future. And then we have another pair of Ray-Bans. This one is similar. Oct octagonal? How many sides do these have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagonal, sort of, but it's not in, it's not equilateral. Is that what you call it? Not all sides are the same length, is what I'm trying to say. I sucked at math. Geometry is part of math, so you can't fault me at that. These guys have a similar aesthetic in the way that they have gold, thin metal arms and rim, and uh, the lens is metallic, metallic, uh, reflective blue, a light blue. These go better with my face shape, I think, because again, big, round face. Uh, these are easier to wear than those, I would say, because they're less out there. I love them too. They're so cute. Okay. This was a big purchase on my part. I I'd wanted them for a very long time, and I did purchase them because I was scared that they were like too cool for me or something. I went to the Saint Laurent store here on Rodeo Drive, because, you know, pretty woman or whatever, and I asked them if they still had them. They're from a previous collection, but they did. They're from Saint Laurent Sur, and the case is actually neoprene. It's super cool. And you open them up and BAM! All of a sudden, I'm in Jawbreaker starring Rose McGowan, and I'm about to kill my friend. Anyone else get that reference, or do I just sound crazy? Very similar to those first Ray-Bans I showed you. Showed, showed you? Come on. Verb tenses, those verb tenses. They're oval shaped, but these have a thicker, thicker frame. I want a black, black cade <laughs> glasses. And yeah, they're super dark, and they really look like I'm out of a, a teen movie from the late 90s. Uh, like, I could be wearing these and she's all that, and I'd be like, fitting right in. <gasps> I saw Sahara Ray at the airport wearing a similar pair, and I was like, oh my god, like, they're so fun. Why am I scared of them? So, no longer, no longer scared. You can pull off anything you want, kids. All you have to do is believe. They're black, oval, a little wider at the edges, so is the rim. And on the side it says Saint Laurent Surf. Uh, I've never owned a pair of glasses from Saint Laurent. Oh, I'm more about the style than the brand, but this is very special. I'm very excited to add it to my little collection. I'm excited. Far have I bored you. Come back here, child. While I was at Saint Laurent, I also picked up this little guy. Uh, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. It seems that everyone has one when they do their what's in their bag videos, and I started getting a bit of FOMO. Also, so practical. As you as you saw in my what's in my bag video, I have a bit of a large wallet uh, <laughs> and uh, many very small bags, so that never worked out for me. Uh, I did a lot of loose money and cards in my small bags, and now I no longer have to. Uh, it is uh, Saint Laurent again. You have the YSL logo, the classic logo in gold, and then the Chevron caviar in red because you can have fun with stuff that's in your purse. Like, always get a fun color. Why not? Why would you get black? I guess it's classic. What is wrong? I can't, like, hold on to anything. I have my cards in there and some loose money, and I'm gonna wear a small bag tonight, so this is so useful. All right, so we went hat, glasses, wallet. I guess we'll do clothes because I wanna save my special purchase for the end. I made a special purchase, which I might return because I feel so bad. All right, let's move on to some of the vintage stuff I bought, I guess. I got a stage hand. All right. 
So actually, the first thing I'm going to show you is a little clothing purchase. I think I sized down a little too much. My beautiful goddaughter was born on December 2nd, same day as Britney Spears. I can't wait to go home and meet her. We've been traveling too much and I haven't gotten the chance to yet. But yeah, I want her to be fancy in Beverly Hills. E like me, so little little souvenir for her. I'm so excited to meet her. Her name is Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Love you. All right, I'm awkward. Don't question me. I bought this actually at the Nasty Gal store. This is not a vintage find, though. It may look like one. This is a bit of a short poncho. Jeez, Bart. Get into it. It's a beaded. I don't, I don't want to say shawl or poncho. But what a bolero? Yeah, it just has a head hole, and it's got some sequins. And of course some tassels, because you gotta have tassels. Oh yeah. <laughs> you get the picture. I'm thinking more about wearing it with like a white tank top and some high-waisted vintage jeans. This is one of those pieces that will forever be fun and cool. It was affordable, so I wanted to add it to my little, my little repertoire of weird stuff that I purchase. <laughs> As I've mentioned once or twice before, I'm a little OCD, so as soon as I got these things, I brought them home and I folded them very nicely. As I said, we went vintage shopping, and most of these are all just vintage t-shirts that I found. LA has a huge market for vintage tees. This first t-shirt just pulled at my heartstrings and I just had to get it. I got it at some sports store. And it is a Space Jam shirt! Space Jam was my favorite movie growing up. I was obsessed with it. Lola Bunny was like my style icon or whatever. Girl crash or... I don't know, what are the kids saying these days? It's a plain black tee, Space Jam on it. Pretty cool. In the same vein, the first couple are kind of just throwback tees. They're not vintage tees. We got Sailor Moon! Uh, we went to a super cute, like, kawaii Japanese store here in LA. And I got a couple t-shirts, uh, again, nostalgic, reminiscent of my childhood. Sailor Moon was a big part of that. This will look cute with a nice blazer and some jeans. You can really put these fun t-shirts with anything. Like, you don't have to be scared of channeling your inner child because if you pair them with things that are more adult-like, you end up looking like a, a pretty good time. Chelsea Handler is a great example of that. She wears all of these fun tees with pencil skirts, which I wouldn't do, but it looks great on her. Okay, that doesn't mean. If you don't know what this is, then I don't know what you're doing when you were five, but this is this is life. Uh, these are all of the Evie evolutions. My dog is named Evie. So you got Evie over here, and you got Jolteon, Clarion, and Porion. I'm gonna be honest with you, this came after my time. But this one's cute! Jol- No, this is- which one is this? was the psychic one. So one of my favorite stores out here in LA is called Filth Mart. I know, it sounds wonderful, doesn't it? And yeah, they're just a beautiful little house. Kind of- I don't want to say shack, but it's very small. Very small house, cool decorations. Feels like you stepped back in time. They actually have their own brand with the Felt Mart label, and this is one of them. I wanted to pick one up just kind of like as a I love your store kind of purchase. And it says Lay, don't slay. This is enough with the slaying, guys. I just want to relax. This is a bit of a a bit of a a treasure though. Some of these are a little pricier because they're rare and they're especially they're nicely aged, let's just say. And this is a Hendrix t-shirt, and uh, this is this is the fancy one out of the bunch. You got Hendrix over there, looking awesome with the rainbow. I would want all of his military jackets. And you know, are you experienced one of the best tracks of all time? What do you call it? You don't call it, you call them records. Which I find weird, because record to me sounds like, like an album, but a record is a song. <laughs> to be a Woodstock buddy. Okay, and then I'm a poser. No, I don't drive a hog, but if I did, it'd be a Harley. Uh, I love this one because it was a cutoff. The colors are really fun. I like that it's rimmed on the sides as well as the neck. And in the back, it's, you can tell it it's from Columbus, Ohio. This one was also from Filth Mart. You guys should check it out if you're in LA. They're, an aw they're awesome over there. Moving on. These are all from this store called Round Two. Again, vintage tea store. That's where the Pebbles hat came from. Champion. Uh, everyone's aware of the Vape Ma resurgence. I am not gonna pay that much money for a champion shirt, but I am gonna pay this much money for one. Uh, it says champion, it's just the logo, but it's a fun, washed out, mauve, purple, fuchsia color. Second of all, oh hey buddy, who's that? Ah, do the Bart man. Yeah, you got my buddy Bart in my favorite episode of The Simpsons of all time. And it says Bart man, Avenger of Evil. Watch it, dude. This one I couldn't, I couldn't, I had to get. This spoke to me. That's what's fun about vintage t-shirts. You have to you find stuff that really speaks to you and things that mean a lot to you, like rock bands or TV shows, or they have an awesome Aladdin t-shirt I can get, but anyways. Hey, you guys should uh, get in there, go shop some vintage tees. 
like this one. I feel like my father owns this one, but this is an Elton John World Tour shirt. But the best part is, you can see all this gold stuff. And uh, yeah, you think to yourself, what is this, Versace? Well, yeah, yeah it is. Uh, Gianni Versace did the styling for the tour. So this to me really, I mean, that's your iPad. That's your iPhone. Turn it off! So yeah, Gianni Versace did the styling for this tour, and uh, I couldn't step it. I mean, when you have two things that you love come together, it's hard to pass up. And in the back, you got all the, oh my god, he came to Montreal! Maybe my dad does have this shirt. And finally, last vintage tee is another Harley tee. This one is extra large, and it is from Edmonton, Canada. Spoke to me because, you know, we're from the same land, and also it is large, and I figured I could wear it with some tights or some fishnets and some combat boots and I look a lot more badass than I am. It reminds me of these, a couple years ago they came out, they're called, they were from Marcelo Berlon and they had like snakes or birds or I have one with a big lion around the neck. Doesn't it kind of remind you of this? That was all the vintage tees I bought. I've moved on to my last pile of vintage clothes. This is from a store called Wasteland. It's not necessarily, it's a vintage store, but it's also more of a consignment store. You find tons of little treasures there if you have the time to dig. They have every brand from, every brand, every price point. They, they'd have stuff from Versace, like they'd have stuff from Zara. But it's all people that came in and sold their things and they're good pieces most of the time. Go to Wasteland, have some time on your hands though. Uh, I found this guy and I fell in love with it. It is a maxi dress. Long sleeve baby blue maxi dress from Emilio Pucci. I would say it's from the 70s. The tags indicate that it is very freaking old. Uh, it's from Saks Fifth Avenue. It was made in Italy. And it says that you gotta dry clean it. And it looks beautiful on It's a little big, but you know, I'm not picking and choosing when you find stuff like this. It kind of drapes out at the end. And it's got some piping. I really love the print. I love the color. I love the color especially. It's kind of got some elven detail there, which if you like Lord of the Rings like me, it's not a bad thing. I loved it. I felt like Galadriel in it, so I had to get it. Moving on, another Pucci piece. This one I believe is probably from like the 2000s. It's a, a more contemporary print. Uh, fun colors though. And it's an easy dress to wear. I, this is part of their Mare collection, I think, because it's lighter linen. And it'd be great over a bathing suit, but I'm probably going to wear it more, of, more as if it wasn't meant for the pool, because I think it's beautiful and fancy. And when you find I mean, this cost me like $30, and I think it retails probably for like $800, so woohoo! And then finally, the last piece of clothing in this haul is a Stella McCartney pink jacket. Like four years ago, I wanted the yellow one of these so bad, and when I saw this in the store for like $48, bucks, I was like, it's pink, it's got a great structure to it, it's got some shoulder pads, which was also always a lot of fun. Would look great on top of that, like that EV Evolution tee maybe. And it is Stella McCartney made in Bulgaria. And I love that all of her products are uh, sourced ethically from an animal standpoint anyways. She uses no animal products in her any of her clothing. You gotta respect a woman for that. Again, it's like you're finding treasures. My little vintage treasures. Yeah, that was it for the clothes. <laughs> Everyone, round of applause for my stage hand. We're, we went head, shoulders, knees, and toes, toes, boots. Balenciaga derby boots. My favorite boots I've ever owned in my life are black Balenciaga derby boots. And when I saw these white ones, I just knew we had to be. I always make the mistake of buying a shoe in a different color, and then it never gets as much wear as the original color that I loved it so much in. But this, I couldn't step away from because, as I said, white accessories are my favorite. They go with everything in my book. Um, people love black. A lot of people love buying black purses. I love buying white purses. People like buying black shoes. I like buying white shoes. They're kind of a matted, like, lacquered finish. Uh, they got some silver hardware. They have them with the gold, but I thought this was a little more subdued because, you know, no. <laughs> think of me, you think of, you know, subdued. But yeah, I absolutely love them. They have the cutouts, they have socks in them right now. They originally came out in 2008, believe it or not. I wear mine all the time. I'll never stop wearing them. And now that I have these, moving on to the final purchase of the day, stage hand. Oh, I don't want to throw them. Don't make me throw them. They're so happy. Okay. Oh, okay. He's got such a smooth couch. If only you could see this. Here it comes. After all of this waiting and all of this crap that I purchased, we move on to the final piece. <laughs> I made a mistake. We were on our way home today and we were driving by Robertson and I saw a bunch of paparazzi outside of Intermix and I was like, Peter, stop, I want to see who it is. I jumped out of the vehicle like the maniac I am and went into Intermix only to find that JLo was there, so totally worth jumping out of the car. 
there was like a TMZ bus outside and all the people were going crazy on it. Yeah, I didn't go up to her, but I like shopped right next to her. Like I went to the rack she was like browsing at and I browsed right next to her and I was like pulling out pieces, like hoping she'd be like, oh my God, that's cute. Like, didn't happen, but like, whew, that girl is beautiful. She was very like Jenny from the blog. She was wearing leggings, like printed leggings, bomber big hoops and her hair up. But all of this to say, I didn't buy anything at Intermix, but then uh, we walked across the street and my favorite Chanel store is on Robertson. They've got great buyers over there. They have really fun pieces. And I did this. I had seen it in Texas and I thought it was really cute and adorable. It's from a previous collection, so then you get the fear that you'll never be able to see it again. So here I am, I purchased this bag now and on our way home, I asked Peter to drive back to the store so I could return it, but nope, he said no. So I bought this fall winter 2016 bag with emojis on it. These are the Chanel or Carl emojis in the silver. It's a classic flap, but it's kind of a nylon material, which is nice because they're cheaper. Sometimes you get scared with like lambskin leathers, they're very smooth. This feels a little more durable. I was scared it would get dated, to be honest, and it's also a big purchase, so I always feel a little bad about those. It felt like my kind of bag. It felt like me, so I really, really wanted to add it to my collection. I kind of collect classic flat bags, especially the eccentric ones, and this was a good price point for a Chanel bag. Anyways, they're just robbing us blind. So you have Choupette on there, got the Chanel peace sign, which is a new addition, the Camellia and the Chanel logo, and then the Clover. It's in silver hardware with some silver leather. It's the medium size and it's just so cute and it's so easy to wear with everything and even though it's an older bag, I was spoke to me, you know, so I took it home. There is a chance that I might return it tomorrow depending what happens when I sleep on it because I didn't need it and I'm already so lucky to be here and doing what I love and being able to travel and shop and do everything I like and I don't know, I feel like sometimes just take your blessings and stop adding more of them. Just be grateful for the ones you already have but then, you know, see an emoji bag and all those kind of goes out the window. So going back to the bag, silver, adorable, normal classic flat bag interior. It's got a pocket with two little pockets. This is where your money goes usually. Then you got a little pocket over here, pocket up the back, and a little zipper over here. But yeah, I'll, I'll bring it up closer for you guys. I know. So yeah, it's a big present to myself. Oh, it's hard to justify, right? You just gotta live it. You just gotta own it, Claude. I bought it first and I'm excited. So I can't wait to wear it. And it's gonna go tons with everything because it's gray and silver and oh, I like you. Yeah. That's it. I think it's enough, don't you? Like, whew, I had a, I had a problem. So yeah, that was the final purchase. I think I've, uh, I think I did a hell of a job. Los Angeles, you're welcome. Your economy is now just smooth rolling. That was a joke. So yeah, that's it. That was our first haul video per your request. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up down below. It's super appreciated. But also give us some suggestions if you want. The comment box is right there and I'd love to hear what you guys want to see next week. Thank you for tuning in, guys. It was a lot of fun and uh, can't wait to see you for new adventures next week. Love you, my little chickens. Bye.